lovers of culture and tradition, we have a new program for you tonight. Tonight, we are talking about the religion of the central Luo, the prophets of the Nue. I'm Joseph Abuk, welcoming you to the program. Our guest speaker tonight is Mr. Deng Nyal Jok, Senior Inspector of Folklore in the Ghost Ministry of Youth and Sports. He is also the leader of a cultural group called Male Cultural Association. Mr. Deng, you are welcome to this program. Thank you, thank you, Abu. And uh, to begin with, I find it rather intriguing to say you are also Deng Enwe, and uh, this is a name that is uh, heavily Denka. Uh, can you explain why are you Deng? Yeah, uh, for that naming, naming system among the Nairobi people is very important. And um, you cannot just be calling Deng or, or something else, unless there is a reason for that. I think for the Nilotic people, there's, there are historical names. And among these historical names is Deng. Deng also is in Shuluk, yes, is in Nue, as well as in Denka. In Denka history, there is a book. And in Nue, they call it Book Mandang. The same Deng call it Book Mandang. So that name is a historical name, going yeah. to some years back before, before Christ. Yeah. To the new the word Deng is Deng. Mm -hmm. It's a god name, one of the god names. So when, you are, when the god is building or creating a human being, he Deng the something in which he, he created a human being. He hammers something. He hammers something. So Deng is yeah, like a builder. When you are Deng some, something, you want to make from it something. And even there's this word Deng in, in Luak, mm -hmm. in Katalbay. In where, where you put some your your Im important things there. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, but the pronunciation is different. To the Denga they call it Deng. To Shuluk and they call it Deng. That is the difference. Good. But it's a, I think it's the same. Right. Yeah. You are invariably known as uh, Ran, Naz, Nue. Mm -hmm. Who are you? As a community. Yes. Um, Nas, or let us start by the word Ran. The word Ran is common to these Nilotic people. Whether they are w because Nilotic are divided into Western Nilotic, Central Nilotic, and uh, Eastern Nilotic. Mm -hmm. To the Central, among the Nuer, the Denka, the Shiluk, yeah. and uh, Luo. To Luo, they call it uh, Bano. To the Shiluk, they call it Ban. To Nuer and Denga, they call it Ran. And this word, when they say Ran, is a human being. Man. Man. That is Ran. Okay. So the word Ran, the, the Nuer add something to it. They said that we are not just Ran, but we are Ramaran. Okay. The Ramaran is Ran twice. So when it is become Ramaran, it's, they cannot say it Ran, Ran. They make it, to make it short. Ramaran. I'm Ramaran. Human being. The real human being, they said, <laughs> in a strong sense like that. That is the meaning of the word Ran. Uh, the word Nas it is a plural from the word Ran. So when they, are say, when they say Nas, they move from the word Ran to become Nas. We, we mean people. They is not, a, is not a single human being now. They are more. And from there, they devote the word Nati Nas. The people who are the people. Because nay is the same as, nay is, is the same word as nas. But they make it nay tinas. People who are the people. Uh, and it, it has been, yeah. But some, some other writers uh, put it in a wrong way that they say people of the people. No, they are not people of the people. They are the people who are the people. Yeah. And the word nur itself. They are the actual people. Yeah. The word nur, I think, is just devolved reason, reason time because when we are trying to, to define now who are the Nuer in the past. Mm -hmm. When you just take the family line, you will not find the word Nuer. 
only it occurs that I think in the 18th, 18th centuries, there was a, um, a man uh, known as Nurmer in Pangak in Gawa Nwe land. Mm -hmm. That is the only name known as the word Nwe. But the word Nwe itself, it came as a result of a certain stage in Nwe history. So at that time, there were, uh, there were the chaos within the society. There was a lot of deaths. People, uh, there, it seemed to there's, there's no, there was no law. So they came together to do something like a convention. So they said, OK, now we want to change. And at that time, there were newcomers who came into the Nile. They said, now we cannot longer use the same word Nile or something. Let us do something in which the newcomers should come in. So they, 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 they come the word Nuer, which is Nuer. Nuer is, they said now, don't do something bad, because if you do it, you will Nuer. Mm. So from there, they devote the word Nuer. <laughs> yeah. That is interesting indeed. Now, um, you are also another very large community in South Sudan. Can you probably assess, or can you tell us uh, the population of the Nuer their geographical location, things like that. It would appear, I think, you transcend uh, certain states, one state, two states, things like that. Talk to us a little about uh, the capacity of your population as the, the Nile. Yeah. The Nuer. I think the Nile, um, they were in the past known as four districts. That was a long time ago. They were near of Hangab, they were near of Nasser, they were near of Akoba. They were near, near of Bantu. Right. The main center at that time was the was Pangak, in which all the Nuer came. They used to come there in 1922, or even 1943. They used to have something like known as Nuer Council, so they come together at that time. Now, in Pangak, there's Nuer of Lak, the Lak Nuer. Mm -hmm. There is Tiang Nuer, and there is uh, Gawar Nuer. And within that also, there's a division of. Even you say Nuer, you say, you say Gawa Nuer, you say uh, Bar and Nyang, two divisions. In Thiang, you say Ria and Bang. That is within the division of that ethnic group. Mm -hmm. Two, you go to, to Lak, there is Yanyang and Thiang Kwajbur. And then from there, you go to details until you reach the, the clan, the, the small part of the, the unit. Right. When you go to Akobo, mm -hmm. you, found the, you found the low Nuer. The low Nuer are divided into three main, uh, into two main groups. Actually, but they were three actually. Mm -hmm. But they divide into Gun and Mor. And from Gun, you will find some, some certain categories of division. The same to Mor. Mm -hmm. Now they have uh, more, more, more low and Gun low. And then yeah. when you go to Nasser, mm -hmm. you will find that those of Ladjo Nuer, who, who move, who cross the Nile from Bantu in 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 18 centuries, mm -hmm. um, there is Gaja, Gajo, and Gagwang. And within also, there's a division of this ethnic group. Mm -hmm. Now we can move to the Western Nile, which is Bantu, which is the real home of the Nuer. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find the same ethnic group there, but um, you found there's Jagay. Jagay Nuer is, um, you'll find Lang. Bur, uh, Ryan, and, uh, and uh, there, there were four anyway. Mm -hmm. That was the Jagay Nuer. You go the same to Bul, Bul Nuer. Bul Nuer are divided into two. There is Kwach and Gok. Uh, yeah. And, and then you go again to, uh, to, mm -hmm. to Dok. Right. Dok and Nyong. You'll find Dok. There are Tien 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 Tia and Tien Bapo. And then again, you go to, to Nyong. Right. And again, you go to Le, okay. Le Nuer. And then you go to, um, I think I'm not forgetting, but in Western Nile, there were six ethnic group. Good. Big six ethnic group. Six division in Western Nile. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much.